Here in Lowell, this former textile mill is home to dozens of artist studios. It's where John Welch works alone in an airy workshop. John Francis Designs is his creation and his passion. There's something very peaceful, very meditative about just taking a piece of wood and especially I really enjoy texturing. I just sit there and I just kind of listen to the chisel carving away and everything else melts away. I just disappear. By trade, Welch is a machinist and CAD or computer-aided designer. His second career as a woodworker and artist evolved naturally over time. My dad was always working on the house. My mom always had me into arts and crafts and things like that. So I was craving that hands-on interaction, that uh, kind of zen that comes from, from carving and working with your hands. In 2013, Welch began carving spoons. He branched out to serving and cutting boards, stools and mirrors. I was uh, very focused on making goods that had a purpose. There was no reason why things that you use every single day couldn't be beautiful pieces. I use the machines to break down the rough material and from there it's almost all hand carving and, and hand tools. I've worked a little bit with some exotic woods, but for the most part I stick to the domestics. My favorite to work with is walnut. I think that you have, it's just a very beautiful wood to carve. You have a very wide uh, variety of grain and texture in the wood itself. Welch's style is distinctive, catching the eye of food stylists, cookbook authors, and fans on social media. I've, I've always been a bit of a perfectionist and hand carving and working with my hands, and especially woodworking, has really helped me learn the beauty of imperfection. I think that hand carving things, it gives the piece a soul. There's some quality that maybe you can't put your finger on that you can't get from a machine-made piece. You'll never get there with a machine-made piece. I actually enhance the painting with these alcohol-based markers. Artist Clara Liu spends most of her time teaching. They blend really well with the watercolors. Lou is a former adjunct professor at the Rhode Island School of Design. To 60,000 YouTube subscribers, she's known simply as Art Prof. I'm Professor Lou. I'm a fine artist working in drawing, printmaking, and sculpture. I got an email from a mother the other day who said, my eight-year-old daughter loves your videos. Art is the only thing she can do right now during the pandemic. I've also been in touch with people who are 75 who say, finally, I have time to do what I've always wanted to do. Lou launched Art Prof in 2017 after she wrote a series of columns for the Huffington Post. I started getting emails from all over the world, questions about everything, color theory, painting, how do I show my work, how do I get into a museum, and I thought this is so much bigger than just an advice column. It's too red, so I'm gonna add a little bit of Viridian. Today, amateur and professional artists alike tune in for Art Prof's cross-disciplinary tutorials. Lou shoots and produces the videos at her home studio in Newton. We cover illustration, bookmaking, printmaking, painting, fine arts. That's another reason I think we're very different, that we are very comprehensive. I feel really alive and alert when I'm doing a gesture drawing. Also and unique, the site is 100% free. That's always been really, really important to me because for some people, even $5 a month is a barrier. I want it to be accessible to everybody who wants it. Lou is the lead instructor, but several other artists teach as well. This video focuses on scratchboard drawing. These are different types of etching needles. These are extremely sharp, so you could get the really delicate lines. Sometimes Lou takes classes on the road. In Taiwan, she demonstrates her signature method. Gesture drawing is quick and expressive, meant to capture the feeling or energy of a subject. I just love little moments like that where you just have no control over the situation. In addition to learning, viewers can submit art to be critiqued and exchange DIY tips. Who knew that Kool-Aid was beautiful? <laughs> if you mix water into it, it actually looks a lot like watercolor. And if you mix turmeric with water, it makes a really vibrant yellow paint. I just need a little bit of a finer point. I think the arts are more important than ever. It's totally unbridled creative freedom. And I think people need to feel a place like that that feels safe because we are living in a situation where we're under very strict guidelines about how you can walk, how you can go out. There's so many rules now and art is a space where there are no rules. 
and we really have an opportunity to be whoever we want to be there. And Clara Lou actually left RISD to pursue art full time. Mm. She moved to Utah and she says even though she's not in Massachusetts, she is just a click away. You know, and John Welch said, and I think a lot of artists feel this way, the pandemic has allowed him to slow down a little mm -hmm. bit and expand his creative vision. He started to experiment with new uh, shapes and designs and textures. So there's a silver lining, as we all know. Absolutely. All right. Coming up, time for dessert. <laughs>